Hey, Dude Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool image right here. And basically what this is, is a futon. And here's basically what the package looks like when you guys first get in. I do want to mention when you guys do get this product, it only gives you guys the futon, not the actual mattress or the padding that's on here. So you guys need to purchase that separately. But first, I'm actually open this up and show you guys what's included inside. Then we'll start assembling it. All right, so that's everything that's included in the package. So it looks like they do provide you guys like this cushion for the side to protect the actual product when you guys get it. And then right here, they do provide you guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to assemble it. And right here are all the different parts in terms of how you guys can set up and where to put everything together. So first thing, let's take a look at the instruction manual to see how to assemble it first. So it looks like there's a total of 13 steps in terms of how to set up. And they do have a page to show you guys what's included on here. And they do have a page to show you guys what's included in here in terms of all the different parts. So this is basically everything that's included. So now let me take out everything on here and then show you guys how to start assembling it. And here are all the different parts in terms of the screws, the accessories, and etc. What I do like about the package in terms of when you guys do get in, they do number everything on here so that way you know where to put everything together. But what you guys want to do first is get this part and that part. And you guys want to get number three and number five on the actual screw option to put this on to actual uh, part right here. So do that first. So when you guys put on the spring option, you guys want to make sure to put it on the correct side. So this side facing like this should be on that side. And the other one for this side should be on the other side. Then we also get the tool that we use to actually screw it together. All right, so let's start putting it on. So we basically want to put this side onto B. So you basically want to put it on like this. So five would be on this side. And then the other side will be number three. And now you basically want to use both of the tools at the same time to screw it together. All right, so we're done that side. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So what I recommend is that you guys put this part inside first. So that way it'll be easier later on. All right, so now I can put it in. All right, so we got it in. Let's use the same tool that I screwed together. All right, so we're done with step one. Now let's move on to step two. Now you just want to take this part out and assemble it together, which will be G and H. And we use number seven screw to actually screw it together. And then this part is H. So now let's take out number seven to actually screw it together. So basically you want to insert in like this. And you guys put on the screw right here. And right here when you guys put on the other side. So basically just like that. Let me actually go get my power drill so that way it's more powerful because I feel like this one's not powerful enough. So basically want to put on both of them first before you guys make it tight. Same thing applies to the other side. Because if you guys make it too tight, then it won't be able to fit the other one. All right, so we're done that side. Now let's do the same thing for the other side. All right, so that should be good. Now let's work on the next one right here as well. All right, so once you guys finish that, you guys want to take out this part right here to put in the bottom. And you guys want to use the screw number four. So you basically want to insert in the bottom right here, one on each side, stick it all the way in. And then use screw number four to put it into the middle. Let's do the same thing for the other one. All right, so we're done with step three. So now what we want to do is attach the two part onto the side that we just set up right here. And we're gonna use screw number one and screw number six to put it together. So for screw number one, we're gonna use eight of them. And then let's take out number six as well. So work on this side first so that we can see what it actually looks like before I put it on the other side. We can do the same step. So I just wanna stand this up, put two of these on the other side right here. Make sure it goes all the way in. And you guys wanna put this bar on. So we'll do one of them at a time. So for number six right here, you only need it for the bottom and not the top. Now we can use the tool to actually screw it together. All right, so we got that in. Now we're gonna do the same thing for all four parts or all different corners right here. All right, let's work on the other side. All right, so once you guys finish this step, then you guys wanna work on this part right here and this part right here. 
So you want to get part E and put it in the middle right here. And then you're going to use screw number seven to screw it together. Push it in until you guys see the hole on right here and for this side as well. But before you guys do that, you guys want to make sure to screw it in this side right here to make it tight. So that way it won't go anymore. So like I mentioned you guys want to use screw number seven, which is what we used earlier. Let's do the bottom one as well. Now you want to stick it onto this one and do the same thing. It probably be easier if you guys do put the flat down. All right, so now you guys are all set. Let's do the same thing for the other one as well. All right, so now we finished that step. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so for step six and seven, it's kind of like different. So you basically want to work on one step right here and one for the other one right here. So pretty much what we're going to need is screw number two and we're going to use screw number five and we're going to use part Q right here. So let's take out number two right here first. We're going to need four of this one and we need four of these, which is number five from earlier. And we're going to open up Q right here. So for Q, we're going to need two of them. So two right here and two right here. So when you guys put this part in, you have to make sure this side is on top and this part is on the bottom that goes underneath it. And the way how you guys screw it, five should be on top and this one number two should be in bottom. Same thing applies to our side. All right, so once you guys finish this side, then you have to work on the other step right here, which is step number seven. And the way how you do step seven is very similar to this one, but they use different parts. But we'll put this on one side for now. So for this one, we'll also use part Q, but we'll use a different accessory. But you basically want to do the same thing like this, top and bottom like this. So for the bottom part, we'll use five and two, and top part, we'll use 11 and 12. So make sure to take out 11 and 12 first. So for 11, you want to go on top like this, and then 12 is on the bottom like this. And you always want to use the two tools to actually screw it together, which is this and this one. So like I mentioned for the bottom part, you guys want to do the same thing, which is five and two. Five on top and two in the bottom. All right, so once you guys got it in, now you can tighten it up. All right, so once you guys finish that step, what you want to do is put the frames on top of right here. And when you guys put it, you don't want to put it on this side, you have to flip it to the other side. And also when you guys do put it, you guys want to make sure to put it on the correct side. So this side right here should be back frame and the other side should be seat frame. And the way how you know is by looking at the inner spring option. If it looks like that, then that is how you guys know. And when we do screw it in, you guys want to use the same screw, which is number two and number five. So I'm actually start setting up to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you basically want to set up like this, but when you guys do set up like this, you guys want to make sure it fits the hole on both sides correctly. So when you guys put it on, two should be on top and five should be on bottom. And you basically want to make sure you guys put it on both sides first before you guys tighten it up. I do want to mention for the spring option, it is stretchable. So you do need to stretch it in order for it to fit it. All right, so we got both sides in. Now let's tighten up. All right, so that should be good. Now let's put it on the other side. So same thing for this side, you guys want to flip it to the other side like this. Let's put the screw on first before you guys tighten up. All right, so now let's get the tool to tighten it up. It probably would be easier if you guys do flip it up. So you probably can't see in the video, but basically what I'm doing is tightening up the top part and bottom part. And this way it's easier because I won't have to put my hands through certain parts and struggle. All right, let's do the same thing for all the other ones as well. All right, so that should be good. Let's bring it back down. So what I want to do is turn it around to this way so that we can see the front. All right, so this side is the back and this side is the front. So what I want to do now for step nine is to get the padding so we can put it on here. So there should be a total of eight pads. And for each one of the pads, it's like an adhesive tape and stick on here. And when you guys do stick it on, you guys want to lift it up so that we can stick it underneath it. So I'm going to stick it on and then show you guys what it looks like. 
All right, so we got that part in. Now let's put on G. All right, so we got all the padding on. Let me actually bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here is G. So you basically want to put it on all four corners right there, here, and right there, and that side as well. Where for H, you guys can put it right here, here, and right there. So that is step nine. Now let's work on step 10. So for step 10, you guys want to lift it up for the back part right here. Once you guys do that, you guys can put this in between the middle part right here. Once you guys finish that step, then the final step is for you guys to install this in the bottom. So you basically want to put this in the bottom right here, and you're going to screw number seven on here. So there's going to be one on this side, one on the other side, and that allows you guys to lift it up really easily when you guys need to put it away. All right, you want to do the same thing for the other side. Once you guys do that, then you're all set. So the whole setup process definitely take a while. It took me almost two hours to fully set it up. But I'm shift it back to the other side and show you guys how to use it once you guys are done. All right, so here is basically what the product looks like once you guys fully assemble it. So if you guys wanna push it back down, just go like this. And that will bring it back down. If you guys need to lift it up. Just go like that. So very easy and very simple to use it. Only the setup process and everything took a little bit while, like I mentioned, it took almost two hours to fully set it up. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now let's put on a mattress or a padding on here to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do set it up. All right, so once you guys put on the mattress on top, just like what you can see right here, you can see that looks pretty nice. So for the padding that we got right here, it doesn't have a lot of cushion. So if you guys want a lot more cushion, you probably want to get like something more thicker, maybe like a memory foam mattress or something that's foldable. So that way you can use it as a softer option or you can push it down. And that way you can use like this if you guys want to. But you see for the one that we got right here, it does give you guys a pretty good support and a good coverage when you guys do use it. So I do lay on top, let me show you guys what she looks like. All right, so this is what the product looks like once you guys do lay it down. You can see how she give you guys a pretty good coverage from top to bottom. And for the futon that we got right here, it is like a full size. So if you guys want to sleep two people on here, you do have the option available. But I do love the fact that how she give you guys an option to sleep on here or you can pull it up to use a software option, which is pretty cool. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we did the unboxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth it or not. So for the product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality futon that give you guys the option to sleep and also use that soft option, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.